Welcome back to the vlog. It's PlayStation Vita in the wild. Yeah, Matt's playing a game on Vita. Sorry. Oh, so in this video, we encountered those elk. Well, I'm assuming it's the same elk. Um, a couple videos ago that I just edited, we were discussing the fact that we saw those. Actually, I think it was the last video. Uh, those elk decapitated and stuff that got hit. We found the herd in this video. The herd. So, I hope you enjoy it. I was gonna say, turn around and show what you just. So Megan just like pointed at the road, so there's some tracks there. What did she think they like left over the road? Well, there no. I mean, there's like two tracks though that I saw. But yeah, these are all spots. Of, oh look, pile of poop. Let's go see how fresh it is. Um, but yeah, a bunch of them were bedded down right there. Matt said it's from pretty early last night and he's throwing poop at me. Yeah, they're it's literally like there must have been pretty early like super close. There's a lot of them. Because if it was from We're on the back road. Like but yeah, we uh we got on the back road because we have the Jeep, so it's more fun that way. And since Megan got it dirty now. Megan got it dirty? Yeah, it hasn't dipped out of the garage at all. That's how you took it to work. Oh. I thought you meant because I said something about taking it today. No, obviously not. Playing. <laughs> oh my God. It's kind of insane how much it's actually. These tires are pretty impressive on it. Yeah. Max, no. You're like trying to do that, aren't you? Yeah, massively. I guess the that's probably mostly the stability control and traction control. Because <clears throat> that was, uh, I like think that's still a two wheel drive. They must have just. There's like, a bunch bedded down on that hill, too. I don't know I if you can see they, that. I wonder right what there. they. Like, where they were doing, where they were at, or what they were doing. Oh, they, they like came and, like, stopped all over this. Backside, like over here across the highway, the bed down. Yeah, they're just like you can see all those tracks just everywhere. I wonder what those people are doing. And all over there. Yeah, so many tracks. Why is what they're doing? See all the elk. Where? Oh, you fuck! Dumbass. <laughs> That's funny. You're sitting there looking that way. I'm, like, I'm literally oh. videoing that way and I don't see them. Look at those fucking elk. That's kind of funny. That's why those people are stopped. That's why those people are stopped. There's all those elk right there. Oh, well, I don't know if that's all of them. Well, I mean, that's Well, I mean, some it's definitely not all of them. Some of them were dead on the highway. Holy shit. Nice. Do you have binoculars in here? No. What, you took it? Take them out? What do you... Oh, yeah, they're so... They are in here. Let me see. I'm so used to just my new ones now. There's a big bowl in there. I'm going to go tackle it. That's what I was wondering. They're all... They're all bedded down. No, they're not. Or bed, with their heads down. Oh, well, yeah. Just, might as well look. My zoom is not that high quality, but... Or big ones at least. Damn. I'm blind. Well, yeah, that's like, I'm like, those lumps aren't normal. Those aren't normally there. I'm like, they just kind of glanced. I'm really glad we went this way now. Oh, that's on the top. There's a baby, I think. Oh, look at that one digging in the snow. Megan, check this out. Look at how look at how zoomed in I got. It'll only do 20 on video. It's kind of interesting. Like they just like literally just take their foot and like scrape the ground. To... 
something up the snow to get to the cliff. Yeah. I guess this is a pretty grassy area. So it kind of makes sense that they kind of want to come out, come hang out here. Oh, there's a couple more further down there. Yeah, so we were discussing the fact... No, you were actually like kind of talking shit. You're like, You've, I've never seen I it. thought like, that Matt had never put this up, the back seat, like tumbled it up when I've been with him. But then he made me realize when we were moving all my stuff into his house, then that we did it. Yeah. So, so it's but like, it's like the second time ever I've yeah. seen that happen. Well, and that's another thing too. Technically, in a way, this is better because like that's the one thing I don't like about this is when you like have to get. In well, the when back. you move, when you take the seat and you like you move it up, then you do that extra step where it kind of goes like that. The carpet that goes along the console it always pulls that carpet out, and I mean it's not that hard to fish it back in there. But it's like this, I mean, hell, we can just leave that tumbled until next time Nathan, or next yeah. time we're all together. So th that's an, uh, another thing is the, I just realized, uh, there's also no room for anything to escape because it's like with all the, the, you know, like the in case we get stuck or like neat tools or something like that, all that stuff in there. Um, and then like where the seats tumbled up, like when it's in the back seat, the stuff on the floor, like if something gets loose out of a bag, because we had a, a uh, pint of ice cream end up under the seat. Oh, that wasn't this one. Yeah, and like, because I think we tumbled this seat up to like get it out, or that one, and end up underneath this seat. Like whichever one we didn't tumble up is the one that ended up under. And yeah, like we found like I was like, didn't we buy ice cream? And then we looked at their seat and like, we're like yeah, and then we just couldn't figure it out. And then like a few hours later, I'm like, oh yeah, it probably got under the seat. It did, but it was. Yeah, luckily we. Well, yeah, I was gonna say it was it was fully liquefied, but it was like none of it actually got out of the container, luckily. Yeah. But it probably would have if we would have not figured out where it was, or been the type of people that don't look at like don't remember what you bought and then don't check receipts. Also, a side note, my hair looks kind of crazy because I curled it Twice. Friday and Saturday, and I haven't showered yet, so yeah, just kind of. So I went to uh, Target to get Nathan some stocking stuffers, and uh, one, I don't think we showed anything before we wrapped it, but we bought him the BattleBots Arena and a set of those, but I really like um, Sawblaze, so I saw that, and I mean, I guess I like this configuration of Whiplash, because I, ju I just don't like when they take the spinner off there and they just become a push bot, because then it's like, oh, Manny Vasquez is the greatest driver in BattleBots, and it's like, yeah, but he pushes people around. It's like... You know, I, I, I enjoy a good technical jujitsu fight when I'm watching MMA. But it's like when somebody gets a guy to the ground and then just lay, like kind of like basically controls him and lays lays there. Like that's boring. And that's kind of like what a push bot is in BattleBot. It's like, oh yeah, you pushed him around the whole time so he couldn't do any damage. So you win, but you made it boring. But yeah, because of how much I like Sawblaze, I was like, screw it and bought that. And ended up um, not getting any stocking stuffers. So... We did it today at the grocery store. Went really rogue, so now uh, he has a double stocking. One of them is Megan's. And we discovered, uh, basically, it's Crayola, Crayola dough. Basically Play-Doh. There's uh, Lego sets buried in there. Candy canes. Uh, a Santa doll, like a chocolate Santa dollar. Some Reese's Christmas trees. Oh, Hot Wheels. Yeah. It's kind of interesting, because we, we vlogged the count of the Hot Wheels. And what, Megs? Like, the advent calendar has eight... Um, so there's eight, cause we, we were at exactly 325 if you count some of like the knockoffs and stuff. And there's eight in the advent calendar. Six come with the track. Cause it's six wide. He has like nine unopened ones at my parents. We got six we wrapped. Mm -hmm. Then three that we put in the stocking. One of them was one that we tried to hide for him. Cause we let him get one a week grocery shopping. And then we couldn't find it. And not like, they ended up with a bunch more. So we ended up finding it. And then like we... Um, passed up on a 64 Nova wagon gasser one day because he picked a different one and I didn't realize it was the only one of it and we never saw it again and like he still asked about that gasser sometimes because he has a 50 what does he have he has a 56 gasser and then now he has a what's the gasser that's in the stack of wrapped hot wheels isn't it a is it a vet 63 vet I think but we ended up with a Volvo 
like what the heck was it like a p1800 or something like some weird volvo i've never heard of um but it's a gasser and then like the one that we tried to hide for him was a like a he has a one that has a few lego pieces that go on it it's like there's like a brick based pun in the title of the car but there was an off-roady one that that was the one we hid and we got in that one too but yeah like with the 10 or so he has it on after my parents the fact we also discovered there was like three or four that didn't get in the count because i we thought we looked everywhere but we didn't obviously because there were still some of my parents and then like so i mean he's at the ones he has there are not quite unwrapped yet he's got to be at like or not unwrapped just unopened he's at like 335 and then the track gets him to 341 the advent calendar gets him to 349 and then 352 with the ones in the stocking did i miss any i don't think so did I, I didn't put the wrap ones in the count yeah he's gonna be pushing 375 by the time it's all said and done and yes my beard is doing something really stupid right there and pretty well i mean she wasn't having much input. She's giving me this look like she's annoyed I'm filming her. Hi. Hi. Talk about the Hot Wheels. They're Hot Wheels. And Nathan loves Hot Wheels. Why are they called Hot Wheels? I have no idea. Because, like, to mold the plastic, it has to be hot enough to go into the mold. That's where the name came from. Interesting. Why are you looking at me like that? You have the, like, you think I made it up look. No. Oh, I, don't I did make it up. It might be right. I doubt, I highly doubt it, but. Maybe we'll have to look it up then. No. I'm, I'm pretty, I can be pretty convincing with weird random crap. I've watched a documentary about Hot Wheels once, so I don't know. Okay, so my mom was, like, kept all my, like, flight football scores and stuff, and I'm just, like, looking through them because she's weird and gave them to me. And then I'm like, I've been looking at the back because sometimes that's almost more interesting. And a large one bedroom rental with um, water and trash paid, two twenty five a month with an eighty five dollar deposit. Oh my god! Here's another one. It's about the only part of this that's actually intact enough to actually see it. I guess what was this? Eight piece chicken that looks like it was probably, well, I don't know, five, maybe five ninety nine. Can't totally tell. But an old fashioned roast turkey or pork and dressing for four ninety five. Okay, this one's gonna kind of show how big of a hypocrite I am because I was making fun of my mom for keeping them, and I'm keeping all the ones that actually have my name in it. Um, but two regular foot long subs. It's cut out now, but five ninety nine. It's like the five dollar foot long is now five ninety nine, so uh, to get two foot longs, prime rib, five ninety five. I get, I guess, even like the art, the drawings on this ad, everything about it. Yeah. Okay. So this is almost as tall as me. It's not even all of my books, because like. What do you mean it's not even all of them? Well, okay, so. <laughs> There's a couple that I never used that I got for free at Ty. That are in the pile? That are in the pile. Oh. And then there's some, like, this one my friend gave me, but I don't think I ever used it. Like, some of them are random ones I got for free and never used or didn't need, and then some what's of them are, like, I have two med search books in the pile because one of them I got from Ty. What's the, what's the second one. thing down? Is that, like, a medical dictionary thing? Yeah. But is, I was going to say, like, that feels like a keepable thing. Oh, some of that's keepable. I just oh, okay. Picture. Okay, I kind of figured but, it out. Um, Sorry. I also, like, got rid of my dose book. Mm. So there's some, like, random ones that aren't there, too. So you also got to kind of think about this if you're going to do, like, you don't want to get too gung-ho getting rid of stuff in case you decide to bridge and or master's and or doctorate. Oh, well, yeah. I'm going to keep one set of ATI. I'm just going to keep the older one and try to sell the newer one. thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it don't forget to give it a thumbs up comment down below subscribe hit the notification bell 
all of the good stuff. And we'll see you later.